Namaste. I'm Archana. A warm welcome to day 13 of 30 days of yoga, which is inspired by the five elements. Today we complete two weeks of this 30 day journey. And uh, in today's session, we're going to take a well deserved break to rest and relax. So all through the practice, we're going to be doing asanas where you're going to stay close to the ground, allowing our breath to guide us deeper into each pose. So we'll begin this session by sitting in child's pose or balasana. Bring your knees nice and wide, big toes to touch. Send your seat towards your heel and lean forward. For some of us, we may simply be here and that's completely okay. You can stack your fist one over the other and rest your forehead. Or you can always stack your forearms, rest your forehead. And those of you who can go completely closer to the earth, resting your forehead on the mat, please feel free to do that. Bend your elbows. Bring your thumbs to touch. Index finger to touch. Forehead resting on the mat. Let out a big sigh, sinking further into the earth, allowing Mother Earth to support you. One more deep breath in through your nose. Completely exhale through your nose. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to soften. Slowly bring your head off the mat. Walk your hands forward. Bring your knees together. Arch your back. Chin, chest, gaze forward. As you breathe out, round and send your seat back towards your heel. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round and back. From here, bring your seat directly over your knees. Reach your hands forward. Bring your forehead towards the mat. Feel a nice stretch in your shoulders. Notice what's happening with your hip if it's moving in the direction of your heels. Bring your seat directly over your knees. Melting heart pose, Anahata Asana, puppy dog stretch. Every time you breathe out, Letting your chest sink further to the mat. You're not pressing here. Just use your breath to guide you to go deeper into the pose. Slowly come up. Palms come beneath your shoulders. Come to lying down on your belly. Now place your elbows where your palms were. Hands forward. Slowly sink into the space between your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Shalamba Bhujangasana, supported Cobra pose. Also commonly known as a Sphinx pose. Collapse, inhale, lengthen. Last time, as you breathe out, collapse. Press and lengthen. Eyes closed or gaze forward. Breathe in, completely breathe out. Now, bring your left palm where your right elbow was. 
your right elbow comes off the mat bend your right knee grab hold of your foot and stretch breathe in completely breathe out ardha bhikasana once more inhale And one, you should feel a good stretch in the front of your uh, thighs. Good quad stretch here. Release. This time, place your right hand with your left elbow was. Grab hold of your left foot and stretch. If you look uh, to the side. the stretch may not feel as deep look forward but it also depends on how you feel in your shoulder to and one release stack your palms one over the other rest your forehead bend your knees just dropping your legs to your right and left can wide drop to your right and left press your palms into the mat knees wide send your seat back forehead on the mat breathe in completely breathe out press your hands into the mat come to downward dog shake bend and straighten your left and right to and wide your legs out now walk your hands back all the way towards your feet inhale half a lift exhale hinge forward fold get a nice stretch in the back of your leg pressing your feet into the mat palms come to rest in front of you Breathe in. As you breathe out, sinking further. At one. Walk your hands forward. And now, with your right hand, grab hold of your left ankle. Turn and look from under your left arm. Breathe in. And breathe out. The other side. Palms come to rest. Turn and look from under. And one. Reach your hands forward. Cross at your ankle. Swing your legs through. Straighten your legs. Front of you. Let your legs flop to the side. Hands come to rest in front of you. Palms face the ceiling. Just roll forward, breathe in, and breathe out, allowing yourself to sink deeper into the pose. Notice my knees are bent, legs are flopped to the side. And one, turn your palms, come up. Just bring the soles of your feet to touch, knees to the side. Again, grab hold of your feet and fold forward. Take a deep breath in, observing the area that you're feeling the stretch in. For me, it's the outside of my legs, a little on my thigh. So it may be different for you. Observe. As you exhale, just breathe into the discomfort. Very important to accept the discomfort. Inhale and exhale. You notice it's getting better and better with every exhalation.
slowly roll up. Bring your heels closer, soles of your feet touch each other. Push your center towards your heel. Come down to lying. If you need to take support of a pillow or a folded towel beneath your lower back, feel free to do that. You can always place pillows beneath your knees to support. Use any props that you need while you do your practice. It's just going to enhance your practice. Breathing into your hip region, into your and groin into your lower belly, your pelvic floor, your pelvis. Again, deep breath in, completely exhale, letting your body sink into the mat. Just taking this moment to pause, being grateful that you made time for yourself, for your practice. One more full inhalation, complete exhalation. Bring your hands to support your thighs. Bring your thighs together. Open your feet wide. Bring your knees to touch in the center. Tilt your pelvis to bring it to rest on the mat. Hands come to rest on your belly. We're going to take one deep breath in. Chant one round of home. Noticing the vibrations spread all through our body. Inhale. As you exhale. Hold. Whenever you feel ready, turn to your right and slowly come up to sitting. Thank you so much for doing this practice with me. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. I hope you feel rested and relaxed. If this video was helpful to you, valuable to you, please like and share it with more of your friends and family. Namaste.